G'day and uh, welcome back for another pen review. Um, this week I'm reviewing slightly cheaper pens. Um, so here's another cheaper pen that I think is quite nice. It's the uh, Platinum Balance. It's a um, very nice pen. I bought this one because I love the green and the gold on it. Um, I, they're Australia's colours when we're in the Olympics and that sort of thing. And uh, I thought, ah, bugger it, why not? I look, quite like the look of that. It looks quite uh, professional and businessy, while at the same time being quite a nice pen. Uh, you'll find with the colour on this green, it's almost semi-metallic. It's almost like there's uh, little sparkles inside the green. I don't think I'll be able to show that on the camera, but you hold it up to the light, and you can sort of see a bit of a pattern. So it's not just a standard matte green, say with um, the Noodler's Ahab that I have, which is just a matte green. This is a bit of shiny metallic in it as well, which is, I quite like the look of that. It goes really well with the gold clip and the band. So, on either end, um, it's just, again, just another round section. Nothing to it. You've got a fairly broad clip uh, that works quite well. Springy. Um, quite Works quite well as a clip. It's got a little bit of a uh, decal around the outside, which just breaks up the clip a little bit. You then have platinum in gold here, and then not in gold, it just says Japan. Um, that's the barcode sticker of where I bought it from. Then you've got a gold uh, band around the center here on the bottom of the cap, and then it's basically a cigar shaped pen. Uh, again, it's a push pull to slip the cap off. Um, it has a tapering barrel down to this metal section. And the metal, gold metal section flares up again and um, gives it a bit of an hourglass look. You come back, you've got your uh, metal clip section, which is gold as well, and then into the barrel. Um, this uses a pilot, pilot, um, sorry, not a pilot, a um, platinum, <laughs> I get there eventually, a platinum cartridge, which is a uh, proprietary cartridge. Or you can, or the converter came with this one. The converter I think is quite nice. It's a good quality converter. Um, works really smoothly. You've got your gold barrel, uh, gold decorative parts either side, and it works very effectively as a um, converter. Um, especially with this pen with the gold and silver, I actually really enjoy this converter. It suits in really well, um, and I quite like it. You probably wouldn't use this one as a um, as a um, eye dropper, purely because you've got metal parts in here and they're likely to uh, corrode and rot. So pretty much just use it as a um, converter or a uh, cartridge. It comes with a um, steel nib, doesn't have much on it, it just has a uh, the platinum logo which is the P with a um, just a little drawing underneath it. Um, I think this is basically a medium nib. Um, again the Feet on, one, on this one as well is slightly translucent. You put it up to the light and you can see slightly through the feet as well, which is quite nice. And um, one of the things about platinum is uh, people have seen with the cheaper platinum pens like the preppies and that, in the end of the cap they've got a seal that goes over the top here. And that basically means that as you push it in, it sort of seals up and it lasts, the um, nib doesn't dry out as quick. I think that's a really good design of a lot of the platinum pens, um, that they seal like that. It's not quite as effective as, say, the 3776 Centuries or um, any of those pens, which have this, the full slip and seal technology. But it does go up there and it does sort of seal on and allows this pen to last quite a while without actually drying out. Um, this was a reasonably cheap pen. I quite enjoy it. It's very comfortable. The step down here where it goes from the barrel to the um, the cap um, is barely noticeable, even though I hold my pen higher up. The nib is quite small with folded over edges that sort of slide on, similar to the uh, Lamy Safari nibs, um, where they bend over and just slide on. Um, quite a nice pen. I quite enjoy the colour of this. It just seems like quality in a fairly cheap pen. Um, so I definitely recommend these and I love this colour. The metallic look in this, the green is quite good and it matches really well with the gold. So I'll give you some dimensions. Um, capped, it's 139mm. 
uncapped, it's 127. Uh, posted, it, be, it posts quite securely. As you can see, it doesn't come off and it turns into a fairly decent pen. Um, it becomes 150 millimeters, so it's quite a large pen capped. But I like that. Um, the smallest part of the grip section, which is just before this metal section starts rising up, is nine millimeters, and it goes to the barrel being a total of 12.5 millimeters. So it goes up to being quite a large pen. So if you hold further back on your pen, um, it, it's quite a nice pen to hold for me or someone with a slightly larger hand, it's quite good. Uh, the weight with the cap is 22 grams, and without the cap, it's 17 grams. So again, another reasonably uh, weighted pen. Uh, the cap is a little bit lighter, um, but that's quite quite a nice pen. Decent size, good price, and it looks like quality. Um, I can't fault the, this pen at all either, apart from the fact that they use platinum uh, proprietary cartridges and converters. That's a little bit annoying, um, but, you know, companies do that anyway, so it's not too much. It came with the um, converter anyway, and it came with two cartridges. I was quite happy with that. Uh, so again, this is another cheap pen that I definitely recommend, um, but I'll do a writing sample and show you what it can do. Thank you. Okay, so this is the writing sample for the um, Platinum Balance in green and gold. Um, I'll just show you the nib. There you go. It's quite a small nib. Um, but yeah, let's do a writing sample. This is the platinum balance. I think this is this should be roughly a medium nib, um, and the ink is Pelican Edelstein. Jade. It's quite a nice green coloured ink. I quite like this one. Um, yeah, so we'll do a writing sample. So this pen writes quite well. Uh, the nib's smooth, um, good good flow, can't really fault this pen at all, um, yeah, it's quite nice, a uh, bit of quick, no skipping, those two little sections there were me lifting the pen off the page, that's my bad. I have noticed with this pen though, it's a, got a little bit of a stub quality coming down. It's a little bit thicker than it is going across, but it's only a fraction. I wouldn't call it a stub or anything. It's just, um, I've just noticed it. Um, line variation. You know, there's a tiny amount to be had, but it's not meant to be a flex pen or anything near that standard. Um, you're only going to get tiniest bit out. Um, it mainly just lays down more ink than sort of flexing properly. But this pen is very smooth and quite a nice pen to write with. It's uh, again, I didn't modify this one out the box, and it's it came as a fairly wet writing pen. So there you go. Fairly wet pen, really nice to use. Um, I definitely recommend picking up a bottle of this Edelstein ink um, Jade. I quite like this one. Uh, most of the Edelstein inks are pretty good. But yeah, so there you go. There's the uh, Platinum Balance. Bit of a writing sample. Smooth nib. Nice pen to write with. No writing issues at all. Um, no line variation really. But, you know, it's a cheaper pen. You're not going to expect too much out of it. But good business pen, so hope this has helped and hope you enjoy. Goodbye.